We have some promising news to share tonight in the fight against leukemia. An experimental gene therapy is continuing to show high rates of success with patients who have failed to respond to traditional treatments. We first met Emily Whitehead a year ago. She was seven then, battling ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. When she didn't respond to chemo, her family turned to the experimental therapy at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Dr. Stephen Grupp is leading the study. This is a whole new way of treating cancer. And the idea is that we're redirecting the cells of the immune system against the cancer. Doctors first remove the patient's T cells. Those are white blood cells, which play a crucial role in the immune system. Then they alter them to include a gene that attacks leukemia and inject them back into the patient. The idea is the modified cells will find and kill the cancer. Today, Emily has been cancer free for 20 months just four months away from doctors declaring her cured. According to information doctors released today, 59 patients have now undergone the treatment trials, which began in 2010. This man, Doug Olson, is one of them. He's now been cancer-free for three years. Overall, seven adults and 19 children in the study have experienced complete remission. 